Hi, dear children. Uh, welcome back to the class. Uh, we are looking at the topic called Human Eye. Uh, almost uh, we have reached at uh, uh, third lecture. I mean, maybe initially also I gave one lecture on Human Eye. Now it is uh, most probably it is fourth one. Yeah, in the continuation, it is fourth one. Now tell me, dear children, just to put the things uh, which are there in uh, uh, last class. Myopia means the other name for this. What is other name for this? Please tell me. Near sighted. Near sighted. Near sighted. Near sighted. Yes, nearsightedness. You have to remember that. If you remember this, then only things are okay. Up to 25 centimeter, can you see if you have myopia? Yes, definitely up to 25 centimeter. That means nothing happens to near point. Near point, whatever it is there, no, it is unaffected. It is unaffected. No effect on that. Okay, this is the first point. And second point is what happens to far point? Far point, is it infinity? Is it infinity it's for myopic eye? No, right? No, it is not infinity. Now, what happens to far point? It shifts. It shifts towards psi, no? Yes or no? It yes, shifts sir. towards psi. So, question can be framed like this. What happens to? What happens to near point? Near point and far point of myopic eye? myopic eye so what do you have to say so you have to say near point whatever near point is there it is unaffected no it remains unaffected okay whatever far point is there that far point shift towards eye is it okay shift towards yes. the eye so is this answer clear to all of you yes, yes or sir. no okay now similarly they may ask you what happens what happens to near point and far point near point and far point of which i i mean hypermetropic eye whatever hypermetropia is there no so what happens to near point and far point of hypermetropic eye first of all to answer this kind of question directly you write hypermetropia means what what is the meaning of hypermetropia? It is farsightedness, no? Correct, no? Yes. It is farsightedness. So what happens to near point and what happens to far point? Tell me. Is there anything happening to far point? No, right? Because it is farsightedness. No. It, is, it remains unaffected, no? Are you understanding what I am trying to say? Yes. Now what happens to near point? Can someone tell me? I mean, near things they cannot see, right? Up to 25 centimeter, whatever eye they have got here, okay? From this eye, from this eye, what happens to them, dear children? Can you please tell me what happens to, I mean, this eye? Now, up to 25 centimeter, normal eye is about to see, but far they can see, but near things they cannot see means now near point has come here. So it shifts away from the eye, no? Tell me, it shifts away from the I, is it clear? Yes, sir. Yesterday, yesterday I have explained all these things, no, dear children? Okay. So anyway, uh, shall I give you some examination questions? I mean, these two are examination questions only, but these are asked in competition. Shall I give you a question which is asked in your 10th uh, standard board exams? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. A person a person cannot see cannot see beyond 90 centimeter beyond 90 centimeter name the defect he has name the defect he has also mention also mention the also mention the correction measure correction measure to rectify the defect to rectify the defect now tell me which defect he has i mean he cannot see beyond 90 centimeter after 90 centimeter he cannot see what does it mean which defect he has you have to think diagram you have to draw and you have to okay good 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 okay my op have already told so with the diagram, I mean, in the complex situation, diagrams will be of helpful, uh, I mean, for you. So this is the eye, no? 
so for example uh, this is the i what we have so we have this principal axis also now up at 25 centimeter if he is coming up to 25 centimeter definitely he is seeing and up to 90 centimeter he is seeing means 25 centimeter definitely he must be seeing so up to 90 centimeter he is able to see in this 90 centimeter no so i will take it green okay i will take it green here so because he is able to see no where is green i am not getting green color here where is it i think uh, here it is so he is able to see this the all this correct that means nothing has happened to his near point i mean within and 25 centimeter though not possible for anyone okay within 25 centimeter whether he is a normal person or a defective person nobody can see in 25 centimeter after 25 centimeter only everything starts and up to 90 centimeter here is the 90 centimeter mark up to this he can see that means after that uh, he should be able to see if he, he was normal he is not able to see all this far point so his far point has shifted towards i know that means uh, he is having myopia right yes sir. yes yeah, so sir. are you getting my please please don't get confused uh, if you have any doubt still you can ask me i mean you have to get it corrected so definitely he is suffering from myopia that is for sure he is having myopia because he is not able to see anything uh, after the 90 centimeter before 90 centimeter only his drama is there before 25 centimeter though nobody's drama is there okay nobody can see here after 25 centimeter only he started and up to 90 centimeter he can see that means far point is infinity but it got shifted towards the eye means he's having myopia okay near sight is clear but far sight is not clear that is for sure next what is the corrective measure for this name the defect he has we have named also mention the correction to measure rectify this defect use concave lens use... of focal length ah, good he should use concave lens very good vaishnavi he should use concave lens of appropriate focal length appropriate focal length good appropriate focal length is it clear is it clear dear children whatever i have explained see this diagram is uh, no, uh, no need of this diagram but with this diagram only things become clear that's why i have told you this okay next you you must be having idea about press biopia no what is press biopia can someone tell me ashok can you tell me what is press biopia old age ashok? problem <laughs> the effect uh, caused when old age old age problem uh, priyanka can you tell me the definition of press biopia or is it is this defect sir yes. i don't know exact definition sir i gave you the definition but it is yes sir. yes sir but uh... yes anyone yes please tell your name and uh, please tell me some someone said me i vaishnavi sir vaishnavi please tell me what is press biopia old people power of accommodation of eye lens is lost due to weakening of ciliary muscles due to this object at near point cannot be seen clearly this is called press biopia sir mm -hmm. very good so i mean whatever power of accommodation of old people is there no power of accommodation of eye lens of eye lens of old people old people is lost due to due to weakening of due to weakening of ciliary muscles i gave you yesterday i gave you this due to weakening of ciliary muscles and due to this due to this they are not able to they are not able to see the things see the things clearly at near point this is called this is called press biopia okay now tell me can you guess what is the remedy for press biopia vaishnavi can you guess remedy for press biopia i mean near point they are not able to see no if near point if they are not able to see means which lens i should be using convex, convex lens, lens no convex ah, convex good. lens sir. very see. good use convex lens of appropriate focal length that's it use convex lens of appropriate focal length is it okay yes or no yes sir 
okay so i think you should be see on this there are so many numericals also but those numericals are not there in 10th standard in 10th standard only reasons and all okay so now tell me these numericals now they come in 12th class do you think i should be doing those numericals now only me do you want me to do the numericals tell me no dear children <laughs> you guys are like sir this is enough this is more than enough for us what will do numericals sir uh, okay so should i do or not please tell me yes sir okay yes, fine sir. very good do uh, i mean write one numerical i will explain you how to do this okay same same uh, question a person a person cannot see cannot see anything clearly and this is not there for exam that is for sure but just for your knowledge purpose i'm doing it because uh, not only book things but apart from that we do so many other things a person cannot see anything clearly after 50 cm after 50 cm name the defect he has name the defect he has and find out find out the power of lens power of lens he should use he should use okay now they are asking what they are asking defect though easily you can say okay but you have to find out the power of the lens he should use okay now which defect he has tell me please myopia Myopia. Myopia. No? So that's a, that's a very evident. Just now I have explained. Okay. In the last problem, I have explained. So this is the eye. Up to 25 centimeter, though, for no one it is possible. Nobody can see here. After 25 centimeter, it has to go up to infinity for normal eye. But if, for him, it has come up to 50 centimeter. I mean, in this region, whatever region is there. So here he can see between 25 to 50. After this, he cannot see. That means definitely he has what? He has myopia. Right, dear children? So he is suffering from? He has myopia. He has myopia. Reasons for myopia, all that you know. Now tell me, for normal eye, whatever normal eye is there, no? For normal eye. For normal eye. So what should be the object distance? Don't you think it has to be infinity, dear children? Yes, sir. Object distance. Yes, sir. I mean, for normal, I mean, he should be able to, I mean, we have to make this object distance as infinity somehow. Okay. Now, but up to what distance he can see? He can see to distance of 50 centimeter. Yes or no? He is able to see up to 50 centimeter only. After 50 centimeter, he is not able to see, right? Are you getting my point? What I am trying to say? After 50 centimeters, is not able to see. Now, whenever, for example, this is the eye lens we have. Now, object is kept at infinity. Now, this, for example, if he is having myopia means, is he able to see this object at infinity? No, right? He is not able to see no. this object, no? no now, if, if image of this object, now this object distance is infinity. If this image is formed somewhere here at 50 centimeters, I mean, whether it is inverted or erect or whatever it is, that's a different issue. We have other methods for this. If this image is formed, I mean, at 50 centimeter, whether he is able to see or not, tell me. He can see. Yes, yes or no? See, within 25 centimeter, though, he cannot see. It's not possible. But 25 to 50, in this reason, he is able to see. After this also, he is not able to see. Now, if I want to correct means, so whatever is at infinity, no? So that has to be brought to 50 centimeter for him, no? I mean, at least 50 centimeter. Within that also, fine. 30 centimeter is also fine. But up to 50 centimeter, he can see clearly, no? So that's why can I, I mean, uh, we have to bring this object distance infinity. Object distance is infinity. We have to make this image distance as 25 centimeter or not? Tell me, dear Please tell me. Are you understanding what I'm trying to say? Hmm? Yes, sir. If if image at image of object at infinity, whatever object is at infinity, object at infinity, one object is there, no? At infinity object is there. 
if you bring image of that object at a 50 centimeter don't you think this person is able to see that yes sir yes, yes or sir. no i mean for that for that what we are using we are going to use one lens here to do that we are going to do one lens here so this lens will do that work so whatever object is at infinity so i mean uh, rays will be coming here okay like this and it will diverge and one more ray will come like this and they will meet somewhere here i mean 50 at 50 centimeter that image is formed that is the task of the lens basically yes or no are you getting my point yes sir. yes or no now this object distance is plus or minus image distance is plus or minus now look at this this is the lens we have and image distance a ray of light is traveling like this okay in this direction a ray of light is traveling from left to right we are measuring all the distances in this direction now don't you think we have to be taking minus all this yes, uh, uh, object the object distance as minus infinity and image distance as a uh, i mean not 25 it is 50 no you guys are silent it is 50 centimeter it has to be taken as minus 50 don't you think that dear children tell me no please yes sir i mean in front this side of eye only everything should be there no that side of eye nothing should be there so that's why a ray of light is traveling like this but we are taking in the opposite direction means everything has to be minus or not yes sir yes sir yeah okay sir. now you you got a u and v now you find out f okay i don't know how many of you understood this logic or not i am not sure about how many of you understood this logic okay whatever this logic i have explained try to get it right okay if you haven't got uh, well uh, no issues at all i'll be explaining one more time whenever you are not you are in need okay so i'm going to rub it off shall i rub it off dear children with this diagram only you are able to write that data but as you become expert uh, i mean if you keep on solving these kind of problems there will be no need of this diagram okay but uh, this rough diagram has to be drawn to make the things clear now you guys only tell me how to draw the diagram this is the eye lens what we have okay correct then after that uh, we have line here so this is optical center up to 25 centimeter it's not possible and 25 centimeter to 50 centimeter for this person it is okay but after this also it is not okay for him but for normal eye after 50 centimeter also they can see now one object is at infinity now image of this object has to be brought at 50 centimeter for that what do we have to use we have to use one convex uh, sorry concave lens they are asking focal length of this lens only correct dear children this is the data what i gave right yes sir. okay so now you find out so 1 by f is equal to what is the formula 1 by v minus 1 by u 1 by f is equal to 1 by v means 1 by minus 50 minus of 1 by u means minus infinity so 1 by f is equal to 1 by minus 50 and it becomes plus 1 by infinity 1 by infinity means it is 0 only so 1 by f is equal to 1 by minus 50 now don't you think f is equal to minus 50 centimeter hmm? yes or no Yes, sir. Yes, focal length is now this is concave lens. No, concave lens is having negative focal length. I told you that, so I got it mathematically also. But they are asking for power. I mean, this uh, focal length uh, f is equal to 50 is minus 50 means minus 50 divided by 100. So it becomes 51s are 52s are it becomes a focal length is equal to minus 1 by 2 meter. Focal length is this much, but they are asking for power. Power is equal to 1 by f. So power is equal to tell me 1 divided by f means minus 1 by 2 so power is equal to it becomes minus 2 diopter so this is the power of the lens you should be using understood yes sir yes sir see uh, see this numerical is easy or difficult easy, sir. yeah easy it is yeah, it is quite easy there can be so many numericals on hypermetropia also on hypermetropia on presbyopia so there can be so many mm, things like that okay all right we'll, we'll look into all of that so now is it clear all defects in human eye human eye structure human eye structure and defects is it clear or not tell me yes dear children please respond yes. back Okay. Yes, yes, so this is a, 
first topic which is over now second topic is refraction okay we colorful world in colorful world we talked about refraction the phenomena due to refraction is early sunrise yes then a delayed sunset correct no delayed sunset mm, then a uh, 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 twinkling of stars twinkling of stars okay big lemon in a juice center we, uh, we talked about this also big lemon in a juice center correct next uh, this uh, afflicted uh, uh, letters in the principal chamber and all they keep one glass no okay glass slab glass slab in uh, offices okay bending of pencil bending of pencil then a uh, flipped a flipping of coin a flipping of coin. we have seen all these examples no dear children that coin appears to be raised in the water roll little bit afflicted raised of raising of coin right correct no we have seen yes, all sir. these things in refraction or not okay so if you if you haven't seen these videos please go back to the home and colorful world and start to look it from first video onwards first video second video, keep on watching you get to know about that then after refraction uh, we came to something called dispersion of light no dispersion of light okay in dispersion of light what you have seen we have seen prism okay after that we have seen a rainbow a rainbow formation yes or no these are the things what we have seen no in dispersion of light all these colors we your violet indigo blue green yellow orange correct yes sir yes sir. rainbow formation did we see at the rainbow formation or not yes sir Yes, okay yes. then uh, after that we have seen about scattering of light yes see you have to look at these things a uh, scattering of light means why sky looks blue sky looks blue why it looks blue okay that reason properly i have given you then after that uh, red sky red sky during sunrise and sunset sunrise and sunset why they use a red color in a railway signals a red color in a railway signals why it is used okay then uh, which is scattered more wavelength wavelength of violet is the lowest then wavelength of indigo then wavelength of uh, uh, wavelength do you know about wavelength lambda i gave you that symbol no yes sir wavelength yes, of red yes, is highest no lambda of red is highest okay wavelength of red is highest now so that wavelength we talked about okay which is having more wavelength more wavelength means less scattered no yes, and uh, less wavelength means uh, more scattered more scattered so we have discussed about all these things all these uh, phenomena we have discussed right beautifully all those concepts are explained and uh, all detailing and after that we studied about one concept called tyndall effect what is Tyndall effect or Tyndall effect? Okay, examples of Tyndall effect. Do you remember it? I mean, examples of Tyndall effect, dear children? Examples of uh, Tyndall effect. Correct? Yes. So I think chapter is over. Is there anything remaining? I don't think anything is remaining in human eye and colorful world. It's quite simple. I mean, simple as in you have to be working a lot not to understand this chapter, dear children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, you have to be working a lot. You have to be understanding the concepts. Then only you'll get it. Otherwise, things may go as bouncer for you. Okay, fine. Did you understand all these things or not? Yes, sir. Anything remaining? Please let me know. I don't think anything is remaining. Scattering, dispersion, refraction is over. Tyndall effect is over all phenomena are over. No other phenomena is remaining, I guess. Okay. Fine then. So, dear children, I'm going to stop the video, then I will have general discussion with you guys. So don't leave the class. Okay, anyway, I'm going to 
stop the recording then i will have general discussion on other topics what we are supposed to do all right dear children uh, thank you very much for joining the class uh, have a good day and bye bye